Alright guys, so today we had the final SCR revealed, um, and I felt like we could probably talk about the three SR SCRs now in sort of a video, because so we have all three of them out, just kind of talk about some competitive viability, some other stuff with them, right? Um, so first, we will go back to the first guy who was revealed, who was revealed a while ago, which is the Bardock Origin of the Legend. So we've, everyone's kind of made videos about these, probably by the time this video comes out, all three of them, people will probably discuss them a little bit, but we have yet to do a sort of comparison video with the three of these. So Bardock Origin of the Legend, this is a eight drop 1K combo ultimate deflect double strike dual attack, uh, yellow, However, activate main for three colorless if your leader is a is a Saiyan card and your opponent has three or more energy, play this card from your hand. So already, um, this card's very good. Very good, right? Uh, the fact that this card is able to be played uh, in any Saiyan deck just gives you so much viability, right? That like that's that that's a very intense thing to have. Uh, when this card is played, you choose up to one of your opponent's cards and switch it to rest mode. So what's good is you can like tap down a unison, tap down an energy. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do, All right? Activate main, remove this card from the game. Choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, KO them. And then during your opponent's turn, they can only attack one time with battle cards. So this card has a lot of stuff built into it. It is a three drop that swings for a total of four of uh, what four damage. Um, tap something down in, on play and then can kill two things and then floodgate your opponent for the turn after that. This card is incredibly good. Um, it's probably, when this was revealed, I, I would say this is probably rivaling um, uh, the other, you know, multifaceted secret rares in the deck. I mean, uh, in the game, which is being Pan um, and Supreme Kai, right? These are like the three premier secrets in the game that are universally good in multiple decks they're not just locked to a color right this is locked to saiyan leaders however they're most of the decks in the game are going to have saiyan leaders so not a huge uh requirement there but this card is incredibly powerful um definitely when this one was revealed we're like okay this is probably going to be the best one out of the three right well uh we got the second one a few days ago um, oh, where is it at here? Uh, I don't see it. We'll go back to the posts. Uh, yes, here. So, this was revealed, I believe, on the start of Gen Con. And this is uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kyo Kensun Goku United Divinity. So, there's a pretty good chance that this card is going to get the uh, secret rare or the, um, the, the, um, uh, the um, special um, god god rare art i have a feeling um just because it's goku <sighs> makes the most sense right um uh we we had a we had a vegeta god rare last time making the goku the god rare just kind of seems like the most prominent thing to do so this is a two drop specific blue Ultimate deflect triple attack for each card in your opponent's energy reduce energy cost of the card in your hand by three. So, um, so on turn three, if you go second, so your opponent has three energy, this card costs two. It's pretty good, right? Um, you can't place cards on top of this card, meaning you cannot evolve, uh, which would be very cool. You can go up the chain and go into all the crazy UI Goku stuff, but no, you cannot. Um, and then if your opponent has four more energy when this card is played, switch all of your mono blue energy to active mode. So, um, essentially, turn four and beyond, this card kind of works as a, um, uh, like a, like a super Shinron type of effect. What I mean by that is, this card sort of grants you another turn, right? Uh, if you have, you know, four or five energy, right? You can do a bunch of stuff, and then you just tap two to play this card, right? Uh, and then this will switch all of your mono blue energy to active mode. So if you have six energy and you guys and you tap this guy, tap out completely, right? Um, you just restand all six of your energy, and now you have six more energy to play with and do different things. Uh, this is very cool. Um, it also has triple attack. So this is a uh, 
This is a very cool card. Do I think the problem is that this card's printed in blue and baby hatch is still a card. So it's almost like, well, why play this when baby hatch is a thing? Right? Um, I don't know. I don't know why you'd play this card over baby hatch. Um, it's a cool concept, um, but baby hatch is just so powerful that uh, I, I don't know if blue decks really need this type of card. Card looks amazing. For one and then two this is probably going to be the god rare or have a god rare variant so we're going to see that as well uh this card is vi this card is competitively playable though um i don't think it's as good as bardock but it is competitively playable just sucks that it's a blue card because you're going to play baby hatch instead now going over the third one which was shown off today uh, i'm just going to enlarge this video here and um go over the can i like close this crap on the side I can't. Okay. So this is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I'm sorry, Gogeta. Vegito. Uh, a Light in the Dark. This is the first Vegito Xeno card I think we've gotten. Um, so uh, this is an 8 drop, 2 specific red, ultimate deflect, and has Overrealm. Which is very interesting considering uh, it's a. You know. This is a. Uh, <laughs> strange it's 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 a red card with overrealm so this is this can be a precursor to s some s things in the future where every color is getting overrealm because there's nothing specifically tying overrealm to black um dark overrealm yes but overrealm no like any card could have overrealm on it they just have never printed them so what this is telling me, hopefully, is that black is going to become less and less of the, this is the, the card you play that has Overrealm in it, right? Um, but this is very cool. This is a very cool concept. Uh, so now this giant effect here. So you can play it for Overrealm if your leader is a mono red Saiyan card, right? Auto, if you have four more mono red energy when this card is played, your opponent reveals their hand. You choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with uh, 30, 35k power or less, and uh, your opponent discards it. Then choose up to one of your mono red leaders and until the start of your next turn. It gets 10k, and this card gains quadruple strike for the turn. So there's a lot of stuff here, right? Um, being a free play that rips a card from your opponent's hand, um, as well as giving your leader a 10k buff, and this card becoming a quad strike. It, 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 <laughs> I don't know why red needed to get something like this. This could have been good in any other color. Um, I don't know why they needed the secret rare, right? Right now, green uh, doesn't have a really powerful secret. Like it has Kibito Kai, um, but doesn't have a really powerful secret rare. So I felt like something like this should have went the green, right? Uh, black has um, Kai and Pan and Brainwash Kai. But two of those aren't really specifically for black leaders, right? Uh, Pan and then um, Space Time Traveler or uh, Unraveler are both just any color, right? Brainwash is black. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's okay, but this card is incredible. This is an incredibly good card. Um... Now, what would be interesting to see if decks are going to go away from playing Vegito Secret Rare instead of going to play this. Uh, I think a lot of the times they're going to say yes, they're going to go away from playing Vegito or uh, from playing Vegeta to play the Vegito Secret Rare because it's a free play, right? Being able to free play this, um, you like you can possibly see what your opponent's hand is. Maybe, maybe you can rip out a, a super combo, rip out a negate just kind of turns your opponent's turn off essentially right so uh, this is something that i think a lot of people are gonna have to look out for unfortunately and what sucks is that it's deflect right this is probably the best effect we've seen on a secret rare since uh like og xeno cell i feel like because like og xeno cell was snapped absolutely snapped um and that was the first one that had deflect on it if I'm not mistaken. So uh, this, this card is incredibly powerful. Now, if you're looking at all three of them in a vacuum, right? Um, 
I definitely think Fujito is hands down the best out of the three. This is by far the best out of the three. And then secondly would probably have to be Bardock. Um, Bardock's incredibly good. Tied to Saiyan leaders only, but still going to be a very, very good card. And then uh, followed up by the uh, the Goku, which like I said, I don't, I don't think the Goku is... The Goku is... What, what's funny is that the Goku is actually playable. Like, this card's not terrible. Um, it just sucks that it's printed as a blue card. Like, if this was printed as a black card, it's to switch all of your mono black or, you know, something like that. Um, it would be really, really good. Uh, or if they just made this black and just said you play it, and then you switch four of your energy to active mode. Like, being able to play that in a black deck... Oh my god, that would have been insane. Um, which I, I feel like they could have done something like that, but um, it, it's okay. It's like I said, Out of the three, it's the worst, but it still is competitively viable. So uh, if people are playing it, I'm not going to be like, okay, that's that, 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 that's a bad card, right? Like it's, It has playability. But this card here is just undeniably going to be the chase out of the three. When it comes to competitive viability, the Goku will probably be the, the, the chase card because it's going to get the god rare. So... Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. I would like to hear what you guys have to say about these cards. Um, uh, we're going into um, the week of getting all the, the red support cards out of the way for reveals. And then next week we should be getting um, uh, green and black. I believe... I'm not green and black. Um, uh, yellow and black. I believe yellow is getting saved for last is my guess. Um, just because it's the movie set color in a way. Uh, but we'll see so but let me know what you guys think down below of these cards um, If you guys think of like some really cool interactions you have with these three cards, let me know um, But I'm very very excited uh, this this sets looking like a very powerful set um, Definitely have to start managing some money to get some boxes maybe a case um, Because I want to definitely try to pull that god rare um, would love to be able to pull that god rare. That'd be amazing. So, um, but I will, uh, we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe as always. Thank you guys for all the support and I will see you guys in the next video.